First skeptic, uh, Professor Parks. Well, I too have been shaped by my past. In 38 years in daily journalism, I've been told or learned a lot of secrets, and I printed most of them. <laughs> there are some I didn't print. When I knew or suspected that they were going to put into danger um, the life of a source, the life of um, um, an American colleague, um, a colleague broadly uh, understood to be somebody who was in that capital, like Moscow or Beijing or Cairo or South Africa, Pretoria, uh, put that, that name and uh, put that person in danger. So I believe secrets are publishable. And when the Guardian started publishing the Snowden materials, I kind of shrugged and said, eh, so what? It's a story. Doesn't, it just confirms what spies do. They spy. And then we saw that it was metadata. It's just numbers connected to other numbers. And I said, well, that's kind of interesting, but Google, Visa, uh, AT&T know far more about me than the government does. And I don't much care. It's big data. And then there was that titillating disclosure that the CIA was listening to Angela Merkel's phone calls. What were they learning? I was tantalized. But way back in the, in the 80s and 90s, the CIA was listening on the phone calls of Soviet leaders as they drove around Moscow in their limousines. Hmm. And then there were further disclosures, and I completely changed my view. What we had was the National Security Agency and other uh, agencies of the U.S. And, uh, government, intelligence agency, completely out of control. They were doing everything they could, not because there was a need, but because they could. Now, that's a, that's a story. Not that the others weren't stories, but that's a story that American journalists need to pursue. Where were we? Where was the press? Well, I can report that the press had been there, but didn't have Mr. Snowden. Um, I can point <coughs> to Jim Risen and Eric Licklau of the New York Times, and they're reporting on the National Security Agency's <coughs> eavesdropping program. I can point to Dana Priest's series in the Washington Post on the secret U.S. government, a great series that sank without a trace. I can point to Time Magazine's whole issue devoted to secret America that aroused no concern. So I've got one question. Do we care? If not, why not? If so, what do we care about? One more question. The Obama administration, for all its professed liberalism, has been the least transparent of modern presidencies. The Committee to Protect Journalists commissioned a report by my friend and colleague Len Downey that lays out instance after instance in which the Obama administration has pursued leaks, has pursued journalists, has um, basically uh, chased anybody who would disclose what they're up to. Do we care about that? If not, why not? Five minutes. Mm-hmm. <laughs>